Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? You're getting to see both of them in one shot today. So I have an English degree that doesn't do me much good except allow me to say I have an English degree. Um, <coughs> but one of my favorite authors, especially this time of the year, is Charles Dickens. And one of the phrases from the classic A Christmas Carol, um, when Scrooge and Marley are talking, Marley is the ghost part at this point. And Scrooge is saying, but it was none of my business because Marley takes him to the window to show him the ghosts of people that have gone before trying desperately to come back into the world to give and to share and to care for the people that are in the world and hurting and it's the whole world is filled with ghosts trying to come back to share uh, because they are weighed down by the chains of the fact that they did not care in their living breathing earthly lives and so in the spirit realm, they have to come back and wander the world viewing the people that need help and are not getting it. And the sorrow that those um, specters have is unreal. And that is the hell that Dickens is describing. That's the state of hell when you are so separated from the giver of all good things and you're so separated on your earthly life from all things holy you're just concerned about the dollar about the schedule about me 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 the hell you create for yourself is the weight of knowing after you're done and you are living in the spirit realm the weight of knowing you did nothing to help and that is such a huge picture um because scrooge says it wasn't my business uh, we were good businessmen. We did a good job, Joseph. We did a good job. And Marley's ghost turns and says, Mankind was my business. Wow. Humankind was my business. And it makes a huge foreshadowing of where Scrooge's journey with the specters is going to go. And he has to learn the business of humankind. And I saw a church sign driving the other day and it just said, humankind be both. And it was awesome. Cause I was like, yeah, I am human. And so is everyone else. And I need to see their humanity. I also need to see the spark of deity within them because they're created in the image of God. And how do I honor that? Kindness. Kindness. So when I go to the mall today, and there's hustling and bustling, and I'm irritated, I do not snap at my daughter walking with me too slowly. Right? When my money isn't matching quite right, the columns aren't doing their job at work. And we all know where the problem lies when the columns don't match. I'm not going to be angry with myself. I'm going to be human, but I'm going to be kind to the human that is within me too. And what about the people that work so hard standing at the corner, just wanting a hand up? Am I going to pass by them, ignore them? I might not be able to help person to person, but am I going to look at what charities are out there that I can support instead of worrying about the hustle and bustle and making sure that I get this and I get that and everything on their lists? Am I going to take some of that and aim it towards a charity that can help people that do not have a home in which to put a tree? It's okay to dream and it's okay to want and it's okay to wonder what it would be like if only I had. That's okay. But not at the expense 
of being and engaging with humankind. Mankind was my business. Sermons from the ghost of Joseph Marley. <laughs> Hope you get what I'm saying. Yeah. We don't need to have it always preached at us from the same source. Sometimes we need to open our eyes and allow God to minister to our spirits and our hearts through something that would have been pop culture back then. He shows up and he speaks through everything if we just allow him to join us in the everyday stuff. So, even as you're watching a Disney's Christmas Carol or a Muppet's Christmas Carol or Dora's Christmas Carol, you can tell the age of my children, um, just think about it. Mankind was my business. The message of hope found in Scrooge We need to identify with Scrooge, not Bob, not Tiny Tim. We need to see the Scrooge within us and keep Christmas in our heart all year long. Have a good one. Know that you are loved. Go, be human, and be kind. Bye.